That's a beautiful shot from Hick. It's eased it through the covers and that'll run away. Will it for the first boundary of the innings? Yes, it does. Cairns. Yes. That's a good shot. Magnificently played by Hick. That's the one he loves. Just short outside off stump and he's smashed it away. Just gave uh, Graham Hick too much room there. And Graham Hick just had enough time to really play it from the crease. Just a bit short of the length, a bit wide, and it's really nicely played. But Chris Cairns tends to use a change of pace a lot. He came out here just prior to Christmas on the tour of India and really developed the off-cutter. Well, he's got that away very well. That was short and he's hit it for four. Well, Hick is beginning to turn it on. He plays that pull shot and the cut shot very well. That was a little bit short, and uh, he really did dispatch it well right off the meat of the bat for four down to square leg yes that looked to be the slower ball again from chris Cairns. the off cut up or the off break really and he just dragged it down just a little bit too short and uh Billy graham hick was able to swing through oh he's hit that one over the top hick's beginning to look dangerous despite his problems well he didn't quite middle that one he's going to just uh, pull up inside the boundary danny morrison chasing it but they'll come back for three New Zealand fielding has been very good. The throwing not always accurate. Oh, that's a nice shot. Larson dropping short and swung away beautifully by Hick for another boundary. Graham. Just away from the player and down to the fence for four runs. Struck it beautifully. A good attempt by the man at wide but off Astle. Four runs, 71 for one. Over the top goes Hick. His fieldsman coming round, but no chance. Beautifully struck. And the four runs. The key to this fabulous off drive is the width that the off spinner has bowled. If you see there, it's well outside off stump. It gives uh, Hick the freedom to swing those arms through the ball. Chris Harris, 16 wickets back in nine terms has been uh, pretty alert. It's been very good today. That's a magnificent shot again from the uh, ground. Heck, I mean, nonchalantly played away. Getting quite off. On its way. Yeah. Well, that's well fielded, and this caused a mix-up. This could be close. This will be out. He's got him. That's all over. The run out. I'll oh, give him out. Go on. I reckon that was out by miles. I can't understand why that requires a run out. Well, let's have a good look at it here, Tony, because this uh, result is so crucial to both sides because it's going to be Graham Hick that will be run out if Michael Atherton hasn't made his ground. And there's the return. Is he short? He looks to be well short, Tony. I think your call is absolutely right. That's a good one for New Zealand. Yes, he's out by about uh, a metre there, a long way back. What a dreadful mix-up. So, Hick has to make his uh, way back to the pavilion with Atherton. That is the end of that. Very, very disappointing from England's point of view. 85 of 101 balls, outrun out in England, 145.